Hi, my name is Melanie Ho and I'm a consultant from Professional Vantage and today I am going to show you some of the new features in the receivables management module within Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013. The user-defined fields on the custom maintenance window can be now easily relabeled using the receivable setup screen. Select the options button and in the customer address you'll see that there are two user defined fields. I will rename user defined one to region. If I now go to a customer address, you can see new label that I've typed in, in the setup before. In prior versions of Rayplane, when processing multi-currency cash receipts, you would need to post the transactions before you could apply it. In GP2013, you can process a multi-currency cash receipt and apply it at the same time, provided that the invoice's originating currency ID is the same as the cash receipt's currency ID. I will now demonstrate how this works. I am going to call up a customer, and on this customer, there's an invoice of 1,070 Australian dollars processed against it. I will now go and create a cash receipt. My functional currency is US dollars. I will continue to process cash receipt in US dollars, click on the apply button, you can see now there is no invoice to apply against. If I change my currency ID to Australian dollars, click the apply button, I'll now be able to apply it to the invoice, as the invoice's originating currency ID is the same as my cash receipt's currency ID. The last thing that I'm going to show you is the ability to email the Word document statements. There are a couple of setups that needs to be done before you can use this feature. The first setup is to set up an email message ID. I've got one here called statement and you need to ensure that the document type is set to data statements, enter text for the subject as well as text in the body. Second is the email settings for the sales module. You need to ensure that the tick box for customer statement is ticked. Then choose your statement ID. And thirdly is on each data. On the statement to address ID, ensure that there's an email address assigned on the to field. Then when I email my statement or perform my statement run, you'll notice that there's an email button on the top of the window. And all I do is click on email, hit save. and I get an email statement status report that confirms who I've emailed the statement to and if I go to my outbox there's my message I'm going to call it up and you can see that there's my subject and the message in the body and the statement in the word format That was some of many new features in GP2013. If you would like to learn more about what GP2013 has to offer, please head to our website for more information and videos. Thank you.